SpotlightMediaStudios.com. Welcome to Education Unfiltered. Here is Mary Stucco. Hello, this is Mary Stucco with Education Unfiltered, where we talk everything higher ed. And today we're going to be speaking with Frank Freund. He is the director at MSU Broad College of Business Insurance and Risk Management Program. Um, the MSU Broad College of Business has a long history of preparing students for the insurance industry. The current insurance and risk management minor provides business majors and other foundations for understanding the fascinating and dynamic world of insurance. This is an opportunity for students and the industry to learn more about the program. Welcome, Frank. How are you? I'm great, and thank you. Good. Well, thank you for taking the time today as Michigan State's getting rolling in the semester again and a lot going on over there. Um, First of all, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Frank, a little bit about your background and what brought you to Michigan State? Absolutely. Well, I, I, I grew up in mid-Michigan, about halfway between Lansing and Grand Rapids, and came to uh, East Lansing uh, many years ago uh, to attend Michigan State. Um, I went into the business school and uh, got a degree in accounting and uh, wasn't sure what exactly to do, but I started working for one of, at the time, big eight public accounting firms, actually right in Lansing. And uh, wouldn't you know, my very first client was uh, Michigan Miller's Mutual Insurance Company. Oh, that's so and, ironic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, as, as you know, insurance uh, has its own kind of language and accounting and things of that nature. And so slowly but surely, I started adding uh, additional insurance clients, including uh, Farm Bureau, used to be one of my clients for, for years and years. And so... Um, so I've always been interested in the insurance industry. Um, after EY left town, I did some work for Deloitte, who, again, one of my clients there was, was Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan that was in the process of buying the accident front from the state of Michigan. So I got even more involved there and then had the opportunity to actually jump into the insurance industry as the CFO of at the time it was called Michigan Physicians Mutual Liability Company, and that was in East Lansing. And we insured um, doctors throughout the country for medical malpractice. And we went through an interesting uh, transaction. We did a what was called a demutualization and then an IPO um, around 2000 uh, and ran as a public company until about 2010 when we uh, sold the company, and then uh, I actually went, went to work for one of my old clients, the Accident Fund, in, in Blue Cross Blue Shield for a number of years. And and towards the end of my uh, stint there, um, a person I'd worked with at um, uh, AP Capital, Kevin Clinton, who was the insurance commissioner, uh, was working with the MSU actuarial program. And I came over and helped him teach a course on insurance finance, and that's how I got to know the uh, members at the Broad School of Business as they were looking at really resurrecting their insurance program. And uh, once I kind of left my full-time corporate world and did things more independently, uh, MSU reached out to me a little over a year ago, and I've been in this role since the middle of last year, teaching a class in insurance and risk management this past fall, and then working to help them contact and work closely with the industry and uh, develop the program. Well, that's fantastic. I think you're a huge asset to Michigan State with all your experience in the industry. Um, Tell us about the MSU program. What does it look like if a student decides they want to enroll? What what is it going to look like for them? Sure. So it's um, it's an elective minor within the Broad College of Business at this juncture. And so any of the current uh, students within the Broad School, so juniors and seniors, can uh, sign up for this minor, and then also other colleges. And, and like the actuarial program was is this within the College of uh, Natural Science, so a number of their students also uh, elect for this minor. And really what we've uh, found um, is that it, it, it's just a tremendous add-on to many of these other degrees. Obviously, actuarial is a, is a, is a natural fit, but you know, wealth management, finance, uh, logistics management, uh, sales and marketing all just need to understand risk 
and things that you can do to, to mitigate risk, and specifically, how do you engage with the insurance industry as you manage those risk programs? And I think, you know, if, if one of the things we learned with uh, COVID this year is the importance or, of managing risk within that supply chain. And as you know, Michigan State is well known for its supply chain school. Yes. So understanding, um, you know, um, what the, the language that you've probably heard this, that, you know, logistics management has gone from just in time to just in case. So it's, uh, it's an interesting, you know, dynamic. And it's, you know, again, the element of management, managing risk. Very good. So what does, um, so are you kind of working with the actuarial science area? Are they merging together? Are they still staying separate from the risk management? So we, we work closely together. There's actually a, a group, and I interact with the, the faculty and dean of that college, because what we want to do, you know, they're, 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 as, you, as you know, the insurance industry is quite varied, and so there are many, I would call them very technical, you know, mathematically forward degrees like actuarial or uh, data analytics or things of that nature. But then there's also, you know, a lot of, you know, business applications, all of the claims, the underwriting, business analytics, financial analytics. And so what we want to do is really work closely between the two schools, College of Business and that side, but present a united um, uh, front to the industry so that they can, you know, they can contact Michigan State and, and be aware of the various types of students that we have um, and just, you know, streamline the communication. It also allows us to interact and, and address the industry needs as we help really evolve both programs. Yeah, that's a that's a great idea that you're you're thinking like we all need to work together on this and and I think it is important for the actuarials to understand a little bit about the risk management end of it as well. Yep. Other than the numbers. So um so how do things look this semester? Obviously, we're still dealing with COVID. MSU has put a lot of protocols into place. How are your your actuary of science and your risk management students? Are they in the classroom? Are they online? What are you guys doing? Uh, most things are on online. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm not teaching <laughs> this semester, so I haven't watched it as closely. But um, my understanding is, yeah, we're just continuing to, you know, again, with the, the numbers that we're seeing in, in COVID to just – you know, to try to limit the the, you know, the personal contact interaction. I know there are uh, um, occasionally some MBA students that maybe in small groups can do some things, but for the most part, classes are still done, um, you know, virtually. And, um, you know, I was, um, you know, doing that last semester, I was really impressed on how engaged the students were. Um, it's, it's obviously, it's a bit a bit challenging to, to you know, interact with um your professors online for, you know, what can be seem like a very long time. But they were great. They were engaged, asked great questions. And then one of the things that we also did with a lot of success is I asked a few industry people to come in and, and just be guest lecturers via via Zoom. It was great. They could really just sit, sit from their home office. And, and the students really enjoyed that, too, because they got a chance, again, to interact with people in the business. Yeah, I think, you know, just being creative and still connecting people via via the Internet is very important. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do what do the classes, what kind of classes if, I, you know, if a student's deciding I want to go into, you know, risk management or extra science, what kind of classes can they expect that they'll be, you know, just you don't have to list all of them, but just kind of in general, what kind of things will they be studying and learning about? Sure. So uh, the, the the things we focus on is we have a principles of insurance and risk management that really touches upon all aspects, both property casualty and life, um, and then all the different facets of, of, the, of the business. So it really gives them, you know, a great uh, uh, you know foundation. And then we also have <clears throat> a risk management class as it relates to um, primarily financial instruments, things that you know where they can understand. Um, the, the risk of financial instruments, derivatives, things of that nature, again, tied into the business school, as well as, you know, catastrophic risk management. You know, what, you know, like going back to the, you know, the, the financial crisis or other issues that, that come up, how, how risk management plays a role there. <clears throat> and then, we, you know, we obviously see it with, you know, some of the other um, uh, business and data analytic courses um, are also about very beneficial. 
One of the things that really came up, you know, for my students uh, this fall is really just how important understanding the basics of, of insurance and risk management is to your own personal financial situation. You know, a number of these students are getting ready to graduate, and so for years they've been either under their, you know, their uh, parents or other insurance, but whether it's health insurance or auto or things of that nature, and they're going off and buying insurance products for the first time. Um, and they were really, uh, again, genuinely interested and really wanted to understand, especially on the healthcare side, you know, the issues or things that came up when they needed to make their uh, uh, insurance purchase decisions. Yeah, it's amazing when you really stop and think about and start learning that how much, you know, the risk management industry affects all of us in our, our daily life, and we sometimes mm-hmm. don't really think about it that way. Right. Uh, so when a student enters Michigan State, um, will they still have to apply to the uh, business college, Broad Business College to get in? Are there different, uh, you know, qualifications for the insurance risk management or actuarial science man- majors, or how does that work? Yeah, it's it's, it's still that 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 structure that uh, students are admitted to the uh, Broad College in the, their their junior year. So there are some, you know prerequisite courses that they they need to, to take I remember even back back in the day certain accounting courses and, and cor- things that I had to take and then you know you complete those and <clears throat> maintain a certain grade level and then you're admitted to the business school and then yes can participate in 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 this uh, minor but we also provide opportunities for for crossover programs and actuarial is the clearest example where again those students are within the college of natural science but you know we allow them to participate and be in the the uh, insurance and risk management program because of the alignment of of um, their chosen degree very good now what kind of jobs can you expect students that graduate from Michigan State in these areas? What, what can you anticipate? I know you talked a little bit about data analytics. You know, what does that mean in insurance? You know, just sure. as an example. Yeah. So, you know, what what uh, what you're seeing, you know, like you see in really most industries now, is the importance of data, and and, and insurance is is probably you know the greatest example of that. A number of these insurance companies. You know, I give like give the example of my old company, the Accident Fund. They've been in business over a hundred years, so they have a hundred years of of claims information and things like that. And so, what what we see are a variety of of disciplines involved. So, obviously, you get actuarials who are involved in making uh, loss projections and setting rates and things like that. You have um, data analytics or predictive modeling people who use that information to determine, you know, what they think or what they predict will happen. That's very important when you're doing underwriting. And then on the on the you know the business analytics side, you know, we, we've you know come up with a number of key performance indicators or statistics that we follow. Um, you know, we used to use the term leading and lagging indicators. You know, what's going on with the business that we're writing today, and how you know what sort of results can we expect in the future? So when we when we think about uh, Michigan State, you know, what Broad is trying to do is also train people who understand the concepts, the language, the principles of insurance so that they can walk into an insurance company, you know, whether it's locally or in the state or nationwide, and really hit the ground running. One of the things that we hear most from insurance companies is, you know, you know students coming out with a business degree or things like that don't understand all the, 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 the um basics of insurance and what that's all about. And so then they have to spend time, several months training um, the, the, their now their new employees to understand the insurance industry. What we're trying to do is really give those students who, again, who already have a number of business skills, whether it's in finance or logistics, an understanding of the insurance industry, the key terms, how things work, how the, what drives the financial statements, and what we hear back from the industry is then that allows those those people to really, like you said, hit the ground running when they start working um, in the industry. The other thing we're seeing a lot, too, is especially financial institutions uh, all need risk managers. But I would say really 
every, almost every company now is focus, is better focused on risk management. Again, <laughs> again, we've learned anything in the last few months. Yes. And so all industries are looking for students who have knowledge of risk management. And it, it, it really has become a, a, a much more significant and, and what I think, think is a more impactful position. I think, you know, going back to years in my career, risk managers tended to be people who, you know, check boxes or maintain checklists. Now these, these people are the ones who are really driving the process, interacting with really all facets of the business, and then coming up with plans to, you know, how do we mitigate or manage these risks? So it's a much more dynamic, forceful, and impactful position than, say, you know, years ago. Very good. Well, I think, you know, this is such an exciting field to be in and and very reliable as far as finding jobs. Um, If people are interested in the MSU program, can you tell us, you know, website, your information, how can they how can they contact you and get more information? Sure. My, uh, you know, I'm at um, um, FryandFR at MSU.edu or my 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 phone number, direct number is 517-256. Two nine six five. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Frank, for joining us. This was Frank Freund, the director of MSU Bro College of Business Insurance and Risk Management. This is Mary Stucco with Education Unfiltered. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon. This episode was brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance.